is for my students who are using five finger pop book one this can be a replacement lesson video or a home practice video so i don't know about you but i'm really enjoying this book this is one of my favorite books we have used in the studio so far and i hope you've been enjoying the music so today I am going to go straight to Remember When, which is on page 18 of the book. And sorry, my book's on my iPad, so you can't see it very well in the video. So Remember When on page 8. So yes, you might have a hard copy of this book, which I've printed out and given to you. But a lot of our music is now bought as PDF files with studio license for photocopying. So if you prefer, you can um, have me put the PDF files onto your iPad in your lesson and you can store your music in something like Acrobat, um, which is a software for storing files, really good for storing music. Sometimes this is a bit more ideal than having loads of books to bring to and from your lesson and to store at home. So have a listen to this one, remember when. So turn to page eight in your book. <laughs> playing pop music and are really good at writing lyrics I'm going to give you the challenge of writing some lyrics to go with this song because I think it's just crying out for pianists to sing a song while playing this song it's so tuneful so let's see who can write some lyrics for the song and bring them to your lesson I'd love to hear your ideas now this is quite, for me, it sounds like quite a powerful song. We do start off mezzo forte, but I built up the volume quite quickly. At bar 13, it says mezzo forte. Have a look in your music because you probably can't see mine very well. In bar 13, it says mezzo forte. Then you've got a crescendo and decrescendo. I actually played that a bit louder than mezzo forte because I just wanted more volume. Again, look at your music rather than mine. Mezzo piano, I did die away to mezzo piano and I definitely had forte loud. So mezzo piano quite soft, forte loud. Bar 29, we had a crescendo, a decrescendo and then I did dip down the volume on the last line. But I'd like to see your interpretation of this song. And as I said, if you can write some um, lyrics to go with the song and bring them to your next lesson that would be fantastic okay i'll see you in your next lesson bye